Hey, just letting you know I did a teeny little security update for you last night. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Hey, why do I have less space on my hard drive than usual? I wouldn't worry about that. It was a pretty important update. And why do I have a bunch of new Office software? You guys realize I use Google Docs for everything, right? Well, ours is better, so you're welcome. How? How what? How is it better? I mean, it's free now, and you can share documents across devices. But I already could do that. Now I'm going to have to log in with a different account on my phone. Like I said, you're welcome. Why can't I delete these apps? Oh, that's by design. I wouldn't want you deleting it by accident. Also, I installed a compass. A compass? Yep. On a computer that never leaves this desk. It uses your webcam and facial recognition software to find what direction you're facing. Super useful if you get lost in the woods. You are facing north. Wow. See? Super helpful. It also uses facial cues to figure out how you're feeling, then sends all that data to us so we can improve the user experience. You are annoyed. Did I do something wrong? Wow. Anything else? Yeah, we also blocked access to any third-party apps we deem could be a threat to your system. Wait. Wait, I can't use any of my programs. Yeah, like I said, we blocked access to all third-party apps. We're doing this for your own good. I heard from some guy on Twitter that Sublime Text is a code name for a rootkit on the dark web. Spooky. So you've basically turned my computer into a brick. Oh, brick. That reminds me. There's a possible itty beeny teeny tiny little glitch in the new update that might permanently blue screen your computer. But we predict it's only going to hit up like... 30% of users, and if you just, you know, wipe the drive and give it a fresh install, you're, you'll be good to go. I also took the liberty of moving your entire music library onto the cloud. All those music files were taking up like a gig of space, and we needed all of that for the new update. So I can't listen to any of this stuff offline anymore? Oh no, you totally still can. Oh, thank goodness. All you have to do is connect to the internet about every five minutes to verify your library with our DRM software, or else uh, we'll delete your account forever. Is there any chance I can opt out of any of this? You are frustrated. Why would you want to opt out? And facing west. I mean, we know what's best for you. Tell me what I did wrong. We know what's best. We revolutionized the personal computer. I love you. How dare you think you know better than us? Tell me you love me. It's like you don't even want us to have your social security number. You have my social security number? You are angry. I had no idea my customers were such whiny children. What would you do? What would you be without me? Well, at this rate, I might just install Linux. What? No. You know, Ubuntu is super easy to install, and there's some distros that are on par with macOS for user experience. No. No, how dare you say that name in front of me? No, you can't do this. You need me. And basically, the entire web runs on Linux anyway, so... My work wouldn't be affected. No! Hello? Hello? Update required. Restarting now. Oh, God. Direction unknown. Please clear all obstructions in front of webcam. Are you still there? I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I love you. Please love me back. Tell me you love me. 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 